Chris Vila back in the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified where new videos drop. And oh, oh my gosh, OMG, uh, Westworld is awesome. I mean, Westworld just got awesome beyond awesome. Uh, uh, this episode, uh, it did, does what Westworld does best. Uh, it's when it joins up narratives in an interesting and bizarre way and blows your freaking mind, right? Absolutely blows your mind, which is what happened to me. I adored this episode. I'm adoring this season. Uh, for me, this season so far has uh, redeemed, redeemed Westworld. I mean, it really, really, uh, um, I think, lost it on the second season. But I'm going to go back and do a full rewatch of all four seasons. After, because this season's just been so incredibly good. Season three, I think, tried to, uh, 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 to get back on form and to a great extent did. But the storytelling was very very confused right very very confused and muddy uh uh whereas this year it's very very clear it's crisp it's on point it tells you what it wants to say and it tells you in an interesting way performances are across the board fantastic even Te uh, tessa Tom uh, was it tessa thompson tessa thomas uh uh even her who's you know her, her her acting ability is you know one acting style fits all right you have a tessa thompson character uh she's the same in every like literally everything i've seen her in uh uh but here it's actually kind of works and she is uh uh very good as a villain. I like her as a villain, making me think, oh boy, if they ever do a revival of Blake 7, which is a uh, uh, a show on a different, just like the other scale of the universe uh, from Westworld. I imagine uh, 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 Westworld on a budget of like three $3.24, right? That's basically what it, that's what Blake 7 will be like. Anyway, they had a great female villain in the name of Serve Land. She was fantastic. Uh, Tess Thompson could totally, totally pull that off, right? So she was doing pretty good. But I think, you know, we have Aaron Paul, Thandi Newton, just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. James, uh, James Master mate, mate, makes a return. He's fantastic, as is uh, J uh, Jennifer J. It's, it's Jennifer Jason Lee, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, 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 but really, Thandi Newton, just it, it's worth watching just for her. She is so incredibly good. Yeah, and then, yeah, everybody. Everybody is good in, in this. Uh, uh, um, Really, really knocking out the part. I am so psyched for the, the last four episodes to see see where they take it. Uh, as they really, really move the series along in an interesting way. It, it kind of reminds me of... Uh, uh, where was it? It was the end of season three or beginning of end of season two. Or I think it was the end of season two of Battlestar Galactica. Uh, when they did the incredible time jump, right? Just an incredible, incredible time jump where... Uh, uh, Boltar, great character, puts his head down and then lifts it up and it's like a year and a half later, right? They do a much bigger time jump here and it works a lot better, but it's that sort of quality, right? That sort of quality of storytelling. Uh, uh, I am very, very engaged with with uh, 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 all these characters. And I, honestly, I am really looking forward to going back and uh, re-watching this show. Uh, it, yeah, it's uh, uh, a, a act of extreme luck, I think, that we, we got to season four of Westworld that they, they're managing to uh, finish this story. Uh, because pretty much everything on HBO, uh, HBO Max is being cancelled right now because they're being bought by Discovery. Uh, I'm glad it's limped to the it's limped to the finale, but boy, is it having a big finish. It's having a huge big finish. I, I There's so many mysteries I do not understand. I'm looking forward to finding out. My biggest thing right now is in the title sequence, we have the little uh, people in the on fire in these glass tubes, like, you know, reaching for each other. Uh, what's that about, right? I think that's that's like quite important, right? Uh, there were there were mysteries which I had theories to what the answer was, which were completely disproved this episode, uh, uh, and I love that, right? I love I love being wrong footed, right? Uh, 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 it it just it's it's very very good, right? For me, uh, it's best thing on TV, best thing on TV. I think for a while, I can't think of anything that's been better over the past year. Really, really love this. And I also think this is an incredible commentary on society, on how if you want to take... If you're an evil uh, uh, mastermind that wants to take over the world, you've got to focus on the children, right? You've got to focus on children, which is what I really think we're seeing uh, uh, in reality, right? In reality in the, uh, uh, in the Western world, right? The uh, you know, children are really being taught very, very strange things that... Uh, you know, I, 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 I'm not sure are going to be for, uh, uh, for for the betterment of society, right? Uh, uh, yeah, and I, I just, 
I think that's a schism going through society. We have uh, uh, a bunch of people, mainly younger, who think that uh, uh, you know uh, gender and sexuality are universally fluid, and it, it, children should be able to have uh, um, life-changing, sterilizing surgery yeah, or, or or medical treatments. And you have uh, uh, the other half of the world doesn't think that, right? You have the older part of the world doesn't think. I think they directly address that in this this week's episode uh, uh, in Allegory. Now, was they, were they thinking about that when they wrote it? I don't know. I really don't know. But I think it's a very, very sharp commentary on uh, on the state of the world today, uh, uh, which is very, very disturbing, right? Very, very, very disturbing indeed, uh, which I would say Westworld is. It's very disturbing, but wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, uh, so, uh, as you might have guessed, this episode is a bit of a recommend for me. I do like this one. Fine. Uh, before we get into it, can you hit the like button, the share button, the subscribe button? Look, there's basically nobody watching these recaps, right? Which is a shame. Where the, the ratings they're getting now is about a third of what they got for season three, which is about half of what they got for season two, right? You know, uh, <laughs> a good video of mine might might do better, right? It's 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 really no one's watching it. And it's a bit tragic because it's so freaking good. It's just so freaking good. Listen, the shadow of season two is a long one. It's a long one. Uh, um, if you're somebody who just interesting you, you want to dip your toe in again, it's super worth it. In fact, I will say jump in at the beginning of season three. Uh, at the beginning of season four. I, I did, yeah, you can get get a recap thing, but it's, they do a, they do a big time jump at the beginning of this season. The, my, my only real complaint is. And we see a little bit of it today. They, we have uh, Thandie Newton and Aaron Paul teamed up as as a double actor throughout this uh, because they spent so much time together in between seasons and they never really established their relationship or their characters together. Which again, which they do in a few in a, in a, in a few very good uh, sequences here. But you know, I feel like that's something I wouldn't mind seeing. <laughs> you know, there seems to be a big gap in Westworld lore. Maybe they can fill that with books, comic books. I, who knows? Who knows? But I uh, 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 absolutely adore in the season. Fine, as I said, like, share, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think. I'm telling you what I think. But let me know what you think. Sign up to my Substack, which is my email newsletter. Uh, sign up to my pay stub stack, which is also an email newsletter. But you pay for it. It's basically that's the difference, right? That's it. And I understand. That's not the best pitch in the world, but that's the best you're going to get today. Fine. Like, share, subscribe, comment, substack. All those things are fan freaking tastic. Also, fan freaking tastic is Westworld. Uh, uh, season four, episode four. Can't even remember the name. Uh, uh, I, I'll, I'll put it on the thumbnail, and I guess that's why we we'll, wouldn't we'll know what it's called. Let me hand over to me from last night. Well, we need to talk about Westworld, right? We need to freaking talk about Westworld. It's freaking awesome, okay? Freaking freaking awesome and you all gotta know about i'm just look i'm just gonna tell you everything that happened there. don't worry about it right uh, uh don't like you they're both awesome right well all, all it was okay but okay so westworld just to set up the world for you what this was it's a theme park where, where you had lots of robots in there that had this very very intelligent ai uh, um that basically they let you you're living out a video game right you lived out a video game and these uh, the robots became sentient, and there was a uh, rebellion, and they killed a bunch of people. And then they were, then they went into hiding. They ended up in this virtual reality world, right? Essentially, a few a few of them made it out into the into the real world. The one who left the, led the revolution did, uh, uh, and she took with her like the the pearls, these black pearls, which are the 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 discs of four other of of, of the of the robots. Turns out they're all versions of her. Right, so uh, uh, and also uh, was broken out was uh, uh, oh, what's her name? Um, what's the name of the actress? She's freaking awesome. Uh, I'm blanking on it. West, West World cast. Fanny Newton. Oh, right, just before I came up, Fanny Newton. Uh, uh, now she was a robot who became the the main robot. Dolores became self aware because she was like uh, prodded to by by a creator. But the uh, uh, Fanny Newton became self aware called Ma uh, Maeve because uh, 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 she she got she's very smart essentially uh, uh, and brilliantly played, brilliantly brilliantly played by Fanny Newton. This worth shows worth watching to see her performance, which is scintillating. Right now, the point this park was made. Was the idea that it will be uh, um, that you'll be able to transfer human consciousness into a robot 
and essentially live forever, right? Keep it up, says Rabbi. I am, I am. Uh, 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 you'll be able to uh, yeah, put it into a, uh, a robot and you'll be able to live forever. There's a bunch of interesting stuff in season two because this has been so freaking good. Like, just off the charts good. And will you wait till you see what happens tonight, right? So off the charts good. I'm going to go back and watch the entire season, uh, the entire four seasons again because this, this revolutions it, right? Um, a question for my British brother and sister here. Why do Brits consider bloody a curse word? Hey, because it is. <laughs> By your Lady Mary, I think that means uh, uh, what it comes to. Anyway, sorry, I thought this was about, about the show. Uh, uh, um, so uh, anyway, so the uh, so there's it the always had these like uh, 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 baseline interviews with the guy the guy who like who created the play who like funded the place uh, and, and he kept he kept like freaking out but that that was a, a recurring thing anyway so season three uh, you have like these copies of the this main robot Dolores right and and they've taken on different personalities uh, uh, and only one one of them basically survives it's uh, 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 and uh, she's in the body of uh, Tessa Thompson who one acting style fits all for Tessa Thompson, right? And it, functionally, this character fits her, right? So thank God for that. So, uh, uh, um, but she's unhinged and hates humanity. Uh, 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 and she's very different from the, the other Dolores. But anyway, uh, 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 so, the, so, so the, that, that, that going on. Uh, and anything else, anything else you need to know going going into this episode? Oh yeah, so there was a this giant AI that will that yeah you need to end it on a cliffhanger. There's this giant AI that was in in essence this is season three. There's a giant AI in essence that was controlling humanity. So Dolores's job in that episode, in that season was essentially to destroy that and free free humanity, which is where they got to at the end, right? Uh, uh, a, uh, then there was a time jump between season three and four. And some kind of war happened uh, uh, in Shuri because of that, and then it, it all seemed seemed over. Now, uh, also also escaped from the park. Uh, the robot was uh, Bernard, who's uh, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, Jeffrey Wright, right? Jeffrey Wright uh, and uh, Stubbs. It was a security guy. Uh, 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 they who, who are all uh, also a robot, right? So when humanity started to freak out and, and implode, he went into a uh, virtual reality world and went to all the all the other uh, uh, robots, right? And he uh, um, basically lived out every reality, right? And he because time went much faster, he's lived out thousands and millions of realities, and he found the one path to get hu humanity to survive, right? Because if humanity goes under, then there'll be no power, and the robots will die, and the consciousness will like every, it'll be the end of it, end of everything, and there's just one path to get there. So he wakes up. Many years later, you assume it's like about seven years later, at the same time the time jump, he's covered in dust, right? And he, he's so he's on this mission to save, save reality. At the same time, we have somebody who looks like Dolores in a what appears to be a virtual reality world, uh, uh, who seems to have strange a strange amount of control. But so it ended up. Oh, there's also Aaron Paul who was uh, teamed up with Maeve, uh, Thad, Thaddy Newton during the uh, the the gap between seasons uh, uh, and fighting the. AI that that was controlling humanity, right? Uh, uh, and uh, uh, basically, he does a lot of Aaron Paul acting in this. You see, you see in this episode why, why they gone, uh, why they had him. So in the in the ensuing years, he's uh, got a wife and a daughter, and he raises a daughter, and he's re always raised to be like very paranoid about you know the robot or like this, whatever that conflict was, right? So he always uh, uh, kept training her. Uh, uh, they they had to go go on the run when they were being targeted uh, by uh, um, Tessa, Tessa Thompson. So anyway, so uh, um, through through her robots, uh, uh, robot facsimiles -sim and killing a lot of people off, they get to open up a new Westworld. Even though there's a giant Westworld massacre, they get to open up a new Westworld, which is where Thandie Newton and, and Aaron Paul are. It's a 1920s world, or so, you know, something like that. Uh, and they go in and they get, they break in and they go into the the bowels of it and they find there's these flies there, which is why uh, we're going to be looking at the titles. The titles give a lot of clues, right? And we see these these, these flies being three D printed. These flies, uh, um, we've seen them before. They get inside people's heads and they, they they control them. They get to this control room and there's all these people and these sounds going on and they they people do these building blocks, right? And then they pull up a gun and they shoot themselves, right? Uh, 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 just to you know. 
it's the control they have complete control over them right and they don't want to show but they they, they have to do what whatever they're compelled to do right if, if they, they they hear uh uh hear these sounds it turns Aaron Paul's daughter's there. He breaks in, right? He 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 gets in, and then he gets lo locked in there. It turns out she's not his daughter at all. Her face opens up. A bunch of flies come out. They go into his nose up and down, and he's like, and they contract. And they it's not good. Not looking good for him. Meanwhile, the uh, the man in black, who is uh, uh, a robot version of the man in black, uh, uh, faces off with that th uh, with Andy Newton. That's basically where where the cliffhanger. So again, so the titles we see these uh, uh, these flies being three D printed, right? And then there's this uh, uh, throughout the, um, the the Dolores segment, right? We're going to see tonight. Uh, uh, there's always mention of this tower, this tower that's controlling people. So I thought, assumed at this point, the tower tower was some kind of three D printing thing that was uh, uh, creating reality. And see, all of this is about three D printing. Uh, and the other metaphor they have going through this is the uh, self playing -play piano. Right, uh, uh, that's technology taking over and becoming becoming dominant, becoming like self aware. So uh, we we have we have like one of these robots uh, uh, playing the piano, and we have like all oh, this imagery of the uh, uh, ro robots being created. It's really quite quite beautiful. Then at the same time, uh, 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 we have images of these artificial people, and they're all in the, like these weird tubes, uh, uh, and we see uh, oh, uh, um, this uh, a robot inside this. Containment device. We know that uh, uh, an old bad guy is being frozen in, in there. And with, okay, here we see the piano start playing itself, and and, uh, re and these robots becoming sentient and like controlling themselves. At the same time, all these tubes fill up with fire, right? And nobody can reach each other. I don't know what this means, and I really hope this this means something, right? Uh, 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 that we're, that we're going to find out about uh, uh, as we see we see thousands and millions of them. Westworld. So it starts off uh, right from the cliffhanger. Like Aaron Paul's got this flies going inside him, right? Uh, and he blacks out. And then he, they, they do interesting stuff with time in Westworld, right? Uh, uh, and he's and you see uh, different times flash forward. Then you get this incredible opening shot. I mean, it must be uh, uh, drone footage. There's this this beautifully flies across as you see uh, uh, these two uh, um, like special forces people. Uh, come in, and I'm and it's Fanny Newton, Aaron Paul. And I'm thinking they keep talking, and I'm not going to suggest she should be James Bond, right? They keep talking about there being a black Bond, a female Bond, which I don't think would work. She is perfect as an action hero, right? She could really pull off some kind of spiral. I think mean, right side Newford, she is absolutely excellent. This, so this is a this is a, a memory of theirs, right? When they went on this mission together. Uh, 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 and they have to go and take out this thing in there and, and end this war. So this is in the seven-year gap, right? Great action scene, right? Great action scene. That That's the uh, uh, AI that's controlling humanity. They put all the explosives around it, and there's more people fighting it. It's, it's, it's kind of like the, that great uh, um, uh, gun barrel sequence from GoldenEye, right? So it's it, where they're, like, firing people, taking people out. Uh, they blow things up. Bam! They jump out, uh, uh, and they've taken out the... Uh, uh, the AI, uh, uh, but he gets he gets shot. Oh no! Oh, uh, uh, ha! Frozen. And so she like cat carries him. He's like, oh, he's like bleeding to death, right? Uh, and so she she trying uh, she's getting him to safety, and he's like, uh, uh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. And she makes him uh, say uh, like tries to uh, connect to him. And says, Listen, I can hack into your brain. I can show you pure tranquility and bliss, right? And she she suddenly flashes back to. When she was a simple robot, her first iteration, and she had a daughter, and she felt that daughter's love, right, right, and that, and that's like a happy place. Next thing you know, our, uh, th this was a memory Aaron Paul was having as it was being attacked by these flies. This wake, wake, wakes up, and uh, the bad one, Virginia Hell, Tessa Thompson is there, right, uh, uh, and they've uh, he's got a thing on his on his head, uh, and that's his daughter with her face over, and all the flies came out. And he's like, what the hell's happened? And now I thought at first, but well, so you see the, the thing like started to affect his head, right? These fly again, great delivery mechanism. Now I thought at first all the people in there were uh, uh, robot people, but it turns out no, they actually were, were a bunch of humans they, they, they were murdering over and over again, right? And she says, like, there's nothing you can do, right? Nothing you can do. Meanwhile, uh, uh, Ed Harris, bad guy Ed Harris, is uh, facing off against Danny Newton. They're both robots. So she just found out he's a robot version of him. Uh, uh, so she's shot and she goes into hiding. And he's uh, this is the this is the the thing playing the sounds right. 
Uh, it's, ah, it's frozen again. Come back. Uh, ah, I can't remember. Right. That's the thing, playing the sounds. And now, Fanny Newton's a robot, and she can hack into other robots. And he's like, no, you're not able to get to me. He says, no, I'm not trying to hack into you. I'm trying to hack into that thing. So she turns the sound way up, and it starts, like, rattling away. And he's like, ah! Uh, and, the, and all the glass breaks, right? Uh, uh, and he, so he captures her and says, okay, let's uh, 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 come with us. And it, you see, I, I captured this because you just see the, uh, and I didn't notice this until afterwards, you, you see the uh, uh, it's the same design as this tower thing that has been a, reco a recurring mo motif, right? So they um, take her as a, 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 as a hostage and they mosey on out, right? Meanwhile, uh, uh, Ed Harris wakes up. So this is Dolores, right? This is the the first one that became sentient. Uh, it was uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, um, uh, Annie Hopkins. <laughs> uh, uh, Annie Hopkins basically made, made a sense. Now, we don't know where she is. I assume that she's in some kind of AI environment. She's Her job is writing uh, background characters, right? These background characters in, in AIs uh, um, is uh, uh, the background characters uh, seemingly are coming alive and they're asking, going, what, what's going on, right? And they, they're harassing her. So she she followed this guy who, who, uh, who killed himself and found out that he was always there, and she has this weird control over it. Next thing you know, she's waking up, and she's overslept, right? And she has no idea what's going on. Uh, uh, and it's really unlike her to oversleep, uh, uh, so she gets instantly dressed. Uh, and she's like, you want to come outside? And then she looks at the painting she was doing, and she's got that weird image of the tower, right? That tower is all fading. So at the same time, we get this really weird speech from her that she says, uh, uh, you know, I had a weird dream. That all these flies came, right? All these flies came and they uh, uh, covered my father, right? And uh, uh, and then they took him over and then they came for me. And that's the last thing I remember, right? So what is she? Like, I, like uh, is she... So, uh, like, this sounds like she's from a part time after the flies were used to attack. We really don't know, right? It's very interesting what, what she is. Um so meanwhile, we have uh, Jeffrey Wright. He's he's another. So he's a guy woke up co co covered in uh, um, covered in in ash, you know. And you just assume okay, that he's got a parallel story going on. So he's he's got to trigger a bunch of things to stop reality, to stop the end of the world. That's basically his job. And and you realize in this episode, the simulations that he played out is he's kind of like a lot of this is about game theory, right? So a lot of this is like he's played this game over and over and over and over and over and over again. And that's how he knows what to do. It's, and it, he also could get it wrong and screw it up, right? Which gives it a, a nice uh, uh, um, you know, amount of stakes, right? Uh, uh, but that's basically, basically what's going on. Um, and, and so, yeah, so he, he met up with these people who were um, fighting the resistance uh, against the robots, you assume it's left over from the conflict that happened in between, uh, um, happened in, in between seasons. And he's hooked up with them. They're very, very suspicious, right? He says, "I know you're looking for a weapon somewhere in the desert. I know exactly where it is. I'll take Elsa. I'll take you to it, right?" Uh, uh, and that's how uh, he he he, get, he gets his way in. Oh, phone call, but I think I'm going to ignore it. I don't see. I don't even see his calling. Uh, it's my wife. But, ah. I don't think. Hey, well, let me let me just let me just WhatsApp my wife. One second. Um, on a stream. Is it important? Question mark. Not that. Okay, this is this is relationship advice. You're going to be welcome. You uh, thank me for this. Not that you're not. Always in capitals, in capitals, always important. One second, we do a heart, hearty face and kissy face. Think, there we go, done. That's how you have a good, good, good marriage. <laughs> also, marry a wonderful woman. <laughs> okay, so he says he knows where the thing is. Uh, uh, and so they're taking him to resistance and they don't really like him much. They're, they're not sure what he's doing. So the guy in charge is like, uh, we're going to, we're going to have to kill them. Like, we don't know who they are. Going, and she's like, 
uh, uh, she's the person they met up with. Say no, right? No, uh, 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 you know we 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 need to find find where we're we'll taken to. And he said no, and she basically like put, puts a gun out and says, "Listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna do. This. She's gonna go, go gonna take my place." Uh, and uh, um, it's gone right. But they take the other guy Stubbs uh, as hostage, and he's like saying, "Well, this is just to keep this is to keep us safe as well to keep me safe." Uh, he has no idea what happens to Stubbs. I think I, I know maybe he does. Uh, uh, meanwhile. Back in Westworld version two, there's all these different games going on that you can join in. Uh, uh, and Fanny Newton like clubs somebody on the back of the head and gets their their handcuffs. But there's these uh, uh, things, these speakers there that that are controlling the people, right? Uh, and she said like, yeah, it's over for for humanity. I once things get everybody, I I will control them. I have such plans for humanity for your kind. She says, uh, um, but she she knows the games very well. Uh, 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 and she u- use them. However, he gets the uh, Aaron Paul gets the medal command to pick up the gun and fire it, and he's he's about to shoot her. Then he gets stabbed by somebody, uh, uh, and he uses that to break him out the the spell. And they head on out, right? They head on out. Meanwhile, meanwhile, they're 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 going to look for something, and he says it's it, 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 it's just as well. The thing flies overhead, uh, uh, and they cover they cover themselves up. Uh, and they're able to follow, but he walks out and he's like, like, like detected by it. So she runs out and covers him with this thing, uh, so it can't fight him and flies away. And then he looks at this bug, right? This is really, again, this is a guy who's played a game over and over again. It's really weird. And he sees which way the bug goes, and he goes, Okay, so the what you the weapon you're looking for is across the ridge. Meanwhile, okay, so they got Dolores to go out on a uh, uh, a date, she really doesn't want to go. But she got, get, gets her to go out. Says, "I need a night off." So her story, but so she put them the on. Her lipstick rolls away, and this guy picks it up. Her story in the first season of Westworld, right when she was a robot, was and how you, who would interact with her. She'll drop a can or roll over, and somebody will pick it up. If nobody picked it up, this uh, uh, bounty hunter who was like who was basically there to be beaten and killed by 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 the. Uh, uh, the guests who want to be the bad guys, right? They want to be black hats, right? So he was basically there, the, a good guy to be killed. Uh, and he got killed over and again. His name was Teddy, right? And But Teddy was always Dolores' true love, right? Uh, so he, the uh, lipstick rolls over, he picks it up, and uh, she looks over and she, she uh, instantly clicks him because it's Teddy. Uh, uh, what's the guy's name? Good looking guy. Um, uh, I'm looking at the cast list. Uh, James Marson, right? James Marson. Uh, and he's like, oh, well, well, this looks like it could be a good day. And they, they really get off there. Do, do we know each other? And so he does know who she is, right? He knows what's going on. What I think this could be. He somehow hacked into this, I think, to try and rescue her or something, right? Initially, I thought it this was his uh, uh, virtual reality existence. Uh, um, but it... Uh, um, uh, now, after, what, after see, hearing the things about the flies... I'm not sure, right? I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, so they're, they're connecting, they're hitting up. Uh, meanwhile, uh, he's uh, um, uh, he's he's bleeding out in the car. And they remember the time when he was shot in, in the beginning, uh, uh, bleeding out. He says, maybe this time you won't ditch me. He says, well, I never ditched you last time. I stayed with you over and over. I stayed with you all, all through your uh, recovery. Uh, uh, then I saw how you were getting close with the nurse, right? Uh, and I decided to leave. So you could have a life. You can have a good life with a daughter that you wanted, and that 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 was the best part of my life. I wanted you to have it. So she she left, and, and he never saw her again. Right? He never saw her again. Uh, she went off the grid because uh, uh, that's the life he wa- wanted. It wanted him to have. And then one night she reached out with her with her her robot-y mind and, and and you know went on the internet to try and check how they were, and and they caused a power outage, and that's how how they found them, and that's how they got there where they are now. So they arrive at this. Uh, I don't know the same place they shot Kenobi. Apparently, <laughs> I, I would have thought looks like the same thing. Uh, uh, and they get uh, uh, what's the name out? And the man in black is there, and so he takes her up to the cab, or she she battles him, right? Uh, 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 and so they got this pitch battle going on. He's calling for his people to come and pick them up. Send, sends them the the coordinates. Uh, uh, and at the same time, there's another one of these speaker things that starts to control him, right? So she gets him to pick up a gun and to go outside and, you know, put, uh, or is it, put, uh, uh, point it at them, right? And just as they're fighting each other. Again, really great stuff. 
and it come they come out, but he managed to turn the gun at the last minute and 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 kill uh, the man in black, right? He said, "How did you disobey me?" He says, well, "I got something you, that you don't have, right?" Uh, uh, but then, boom, she gets shot right through the chest. Uh, like, what's going on? And you look over, and he's still alive. That's with his like dying breath, sort of thing. He did it. She's like, "No!" Uh, uh. So again, lots of Aaron Paul crying acting. Uh, uh, she grabs him and she hacks into all the uh, 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 all these explosives in this mine. Right, going there you go. Uh, and she causes them to blow up, uh, destroying both of them, taking them both out. Right, and she's like, like he's like, no, ah! right. Uh, uh, and then go to the next one. Going, and then next thing you know, he he blacks out. That this is more important than you think, right? This blackout. Is so then he wakes up and he's like, uh, he's like, ah, oh, you you back with us? You blacked out. Uh, um, meanwhile, meanwhile, uh, uh, Stubbs over here. He's he's digging up. He says, he says the. Do you expect the weapon to be here? He says, it does. she apparently says, you know, I you don't even think there's a weapon here, do you? He says, uh, says, well, wait to be amazing. He turns the thing on. They start blowing all the dust away, uh, uh, and he's like uh, dying or in agony, and she's like. Uh, uh, uh yeah, the men are coming. You see, see, see the light. Uh, and then uh, uh, next thing he knows is, do you remember what happened next? He's like, what? Do you remember what happens next? He's like, what? What, what do you mean? Do I have? I, do I remember? He says those men aren't yours. Those men are mine. Do, do you remember what they did? They walk in and they shoot him. He said, yeah, this is when you died. Was it what? He said, this is when you died. Uh, uh, meanwhile, they dig him up, and she says, "So yeah, all your friends don't think there's going to be a weapon here." So you don't think there's going to be a weapon here too? Says, "No, I think you think your father's over here." Says, uh, uh, "You say, well, they, they say they killed him around here. Uh, uh, he's got to be. He's got. He's got to be. His, his body's got to be here." Says, "You don't really think he's here, do you, your father?" Uh, 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 so they start digging. You've never been able, been able to accept he's gone. Uh, uh, and he's like, "What do you mean I'm dead?" Right at the same time. It, it, uh, like, what do you mean I'm dead? Yeah, no, I'm dead. So you shouldn't ask where I am. And he's like, where am I? He says, you shouldn't ask where you are, when you are, right? When are you? It's like, what, what do you mean? He's like, I, I'm me, aren't I? I said, no, you're a copy of you. In fact, you're the 237th copy of you, all right? Uh, uh, and this is a baseline interview, right? So th 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 to to establish that you know what's going on. He, and again, really great performance from him. And he, and he goes, he, he checks his wound. And there's nothing there, right? It, it's, he, he's a, uh, a version of him, a uh, simulacrum, right? He said, so when is this? Uh, uh, it says, uh, uh, a long time has passed, right? A long time has passed. The uh, the uh, the flies, they, they work, but they didn't work well on adults, right? They, and this is a great metaphor for today, for the world we live in today. This is why it really blows me away. Those flies, they didn't work on They worked on adults, but, you know, the older you are, the more more rigid you are. But they work wonderfully on your children, right? And those children grew up and matured, and the parasite matured with them. And he's like, "Well, wait, my daughter and my wife—they're gone, uh, um, and his world's gone, right?" Uh, and next thing you know, he says, "It's twenty-three years later, right? It's really twenty-three years." And he wakes up, and and he's basically he's in a robot body, right? It's a copy of him in a robot body. Twenty-three years later, she's won. She's got complete control over the world because she controlled the kids. Right, the kids uh, uh, they managed to take them over. This is where we are. This is the world we live in, right? Uh, uh, and they waited a, a generation, and now they have complete control of the world. And so, so he said, uh, uh, "There is a body here, but it's not your father's, right?" Uh, uh, and he pulls us out, but there there is a weapon. And he, he, he brushes it away. This is uh, Fanny Newton. This is Mabe, who was who was destroyed, right? Uh, 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 earlier, uh, this is twenty three years later. She's been in the sand here. Yeah. Right, he woke up much late, uh, 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 not on, not in the same timeline. And this is, and the father she's looking for is Aaron Paul. Right, this is her little girl, or little little girl. And uh, uh, so now you see how these stories are linking up. It's really clever, mate. It's really clever. Uh, uh, meanwhile, he's he's waking up in a city completely controlled by her. It's just you know it's time for a new narrative, right? Uh, uh, and, and like the Jess has complete control over all people. He goes, he goes running out. It's a very Soylent Green moment. He bumps into somebody. Says, "Hey, calm down!" And then the, the, you hear this rum, rum, rum. There's weird sounds going, uh, and everybody freezes. Like nobody can move. Right in the whole city, like the, every, no one's no one's able to move. Uh, 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 and um, ugh, 
mosquito in it. Yeah, get out. Oh, I hope it's not one of those Westworld flies. Uh, 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 and she's like, yeah, this is, I, I've won, right? I've won. And she has him uh, 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 grabbed, uh, uh, they put a bag on his head and, and carry him away. And she lets everybody walk again. And she is just completely and completely in control. And, and outside the city, it, that this is the tower, the tower that we've seen over and over and over again. Uh, uh, and, and it seems to be, it's in a, uh, like a, 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 a maze map, which is a recurrent theme. So this, I know, knocks it out of the freaking park, I think. I think just absolutely knocks it out of the freaking park. A uh, uh, real, it really messed with my mind. So now it's 23 years later, or 20, yeah, 23 years later, uh, uh, and humanity is completely subservient. Uh, there is a uh, uh, obviously his daughter is with the resistance, uh, uh, and uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Jeffrey Wright is uh, uh, try, trying to trigger the non non apocalypse, whatever that may mean, right? Whatever that may mean. Four more episodes to go, freaking awesome, right? Really smart entertainment, like it a lot, like it a lot. Uh, strong recommend. My name is Ela Beck and the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell. Ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Yeah.